Damn it. This took too long. And it's still not running right. As or as best as I can get it. This game is just too much. I'm probably just going to take down view distance all the way. Because holy shit. Like. This thing is meant for. I guess more powerful PCs. Because yeah. It's just doing this. With, without anything else. So. So we're just going to. We're just going to do it, even if it's going to run at a garbage frame rate. Because, holy shit. They, they... Yeah, it's the... Maybe it's just, like, the area. But, like, I was like, okay, no, I'll just, um... What I'll do is I'll go onto my laptop and I'll stream from my laptop. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh. It just takes you back to the beginning. I'm not gonna do a lot. Okay, I can run. Oh, okay, so that thing is don't get near them. I'm only going to be doing this for about a few minutes. Door lock. Equip yourself. Of course, animals are acting like animals. Huh? Reminder, the convention center is Okay, so that just disables it for a little bit. Which is good, I guess. Door locked. Door locked. Door locked. Door locked. At least you get in infinite ammo. With this fucking t-shirt cannon. No, no, no. Come on. I want to go around. I want to go around. Puh. Now, if they got Crow Team to do the game, I bet you will run better. We apologize for lack of options in this area. Nope. I guess the security room was that area that I was going to. Yeah. Do I just... I found the security room. I just got to get into it. And it doesn't seem like crouch jumping. Ah, no. Maybe if I do go up. Can I jump up on here? No. Already off to a bad start. Wait, hold on. I'm stupid. I didn't even look and see that. I just like, well, if this is open, then odds are there's a, another thing.
Can I read that book? No. I did it. I got the pass. There we go. Yeah, this shit is not running well at all. I guess this is... Oh god, please video game. Oh look, RTX on. I don't have any. Hidden secret acquired. Oh, I have to collect... That's what it is for the unannounced games. I have to collect the things. Try X harder. Look, consoles. Well, we have to explore the carrion booth. This is a shitty, creepy room. Look! Footage of video games! Bad frame rates! Hmm. No, there has to be something else in here. What if I get up to it? Look at it. Look at it run. Let's see. I know there's probably a book somewhere. Oh yeah, there's up here. I, I need to get, I probably need to get up here. Oh, that's for an. Watch the carrion trailer. Where? How do I watch the trailer? The trailer for the video game that I just watched by watching the Devolver Digital E3 event. Oh, you just go up to the big screen. Hey, this game comes out next week. It looks pretty neat. But this is also the thing that I saw like, uh, an hour ago. At least this runs well, because it has to, because it's a fucking video. Eat the peoples. Become the peoples. Use to ex- Actually, now I'm looking at my preview footage from the Twitch stream, and it doesn't look like it's running well. <laughs> Become the people! Shoot the other people! Become a robot! Explode out from the person! <laughs> Coming to everything except for the PlayStation next week, because they got Phil Spencer on. Okay. Wait, I watched the carrion trailer. I did it! I- I- I market the object. Uh, fuck you. Hey, look! It's Serious Sam 4! A game- But they kept the planet badass. I, but yeah, Serious Sam 4 is a game I'm really looking forward to. I already have it pre-ordered. <clears throat> Anything over here? No. Okay, I go to Weird West. There we go. Weird West. <coughs>
God. Look at this thing. Wait, didn't I see this as like an IGN Expo thing before? Let's watch the trailer. Marketing is fun. Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. Fantasy! The adventures of because werewolves! <coughs> destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually <coughs> refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk Meaning? of the is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so oh. simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our Prey's a pretty good game! Too bad it's a reboot of a different other game. But yeah, Prey's really good. Like, combat, like that remake is or stealth or a mix of all of that. You'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system rich and physically simulated world. You got wet. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is <clears throat> Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity oh. for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Marketing. Now, let's talk about how... You know what? I'm actually going to exit to see whether or not it, it, it does what because... The main quest? Yeah, yes. okay. I, I personally don't care about the game. Wait. I want to use. I want to use. Oh, there's a third game. Okay. Let's go back through the carrion booth. Wait, anything else around here? Nope. Okay. I like how it runs very well for me in areas that don't have, like, any bullshit. Oh no, they've arrested me. Oh, maybe I do have to go through the other thing. But no, it's just like... I need a better PC. I need to get to the point where I can make a better... Have a better PC. Oh. Because holy shit, there are plenty of games that I own... That look better than this one and run better. What? Okay. Oh, I get it. And I know this isn't loading issues because holy shit, this is on the SSD. What? Whatever. But yeah, this, this, this runs like fucking, fucking, um, Resident Evil doesn't actually run this terrible on my shit. They need to. What? Oh, come on. Okay, it's toggle. You know what? 
What's causing that, though? Okay. There we go. Fuck you, video game. Oh. Okay. I guess this is how fucking, um, Shadow Warrior 3 is going to run on my PC. Oh, how? Yeah, fuck you. Wait, there was some other thing that said use. Oh, come on. Why would they ever... Wait, this one didn't close off. Why didn't this one close? Oh, this door's locked. Oh, I see it. There we go. All right, we're almost there. Whatever this three of four could be. Wait, 2020. Get it? God. I want to see the video games. Let me see the video games game. Fuck. Oh, we're almost at the book one. Ow! Ow! We gotta watch trailers. What's the thing? Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight, a mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge Titan's might! Assassin. Let me at him. Or mage. My greatest power awaits. Battle with terrifying okay. monstrous enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team to overcome mounting odds. Solve clever puzzles and synchronize their ultimate. Solve the puzzles! Yeah, puzzles of moving a block onto a switch. With several dungeons to conquer, including the eerie grave mine. I actually kind of Devolver as a company is fine. They publish games that I like. For example, Serious Sam. I really like Serious Sam. They don't really develop anything. Plus, they published that, um, Shadow Warrior game. Too bad it runs like garbage on my PC! <laughs> Let's watch this one, which... We are still going to the studio from Kyoto, Japan. And we invite you to take a sneak... How do you press... How do you pronounce this game? Okay, there we go. That's how you pronounce it. Because it looks like a C instead of an O. Place in the land of Terra Sage, a lost world home to forgotten creatures, vast ruins, deep caverns, and rainforest stopped islands. You are Faraday, a shipwrecked captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to a safe return to their homeland. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, 
Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. I'd like to introduce the world of Oriel. Wild, dark, unpredictable as an ambient stream. You will venture through many different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel to jungles and caverns, visit sites of old relic and ruin. Each land presents new challenges and new opportunities yeah. for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land. Next, combat. Combat is at the forefront of Olea, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash and teleport using the harpoon, and then immediately face hand-to-hand -hand combat with minions spawned from the darkness. Being honest, I don't feel like I really care about this game. <laughs> let's just... That's fine. Uh, uh let's see. Any, any items? As soon as I get out of the area, it becomes worse. Hey! Look, it's the Serious Sam room. I love Serious Sam. Look at the werebull. Oh no! I wish this ran better. Oh god. I really need to upgrade my PC. Serious Sam comes out next month. I'm really excited. Look! Headless kamikazes. Ooh, minigun. Wait, okay, that's just a combat dragon. Jacket. Let's rewatch the Serious Sam 4 trailer. It's a really good game. I, was an I hope. Captain Sam Stone of the Surveyor. It was good. Hell, it was awesome. This is him before he bulked up. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. But they thought this was going to be easy. They came to the wrong fucking planet. I'm not using to exit. I want to watch this again. Reminder, they have a technology to allow them to produce tens of thousands of enemies. Most of them are 10 2D, but the, just the sheer fact that they can put out a lot of fucking enemies all at once is... And without it hitting the frame rate is a cool thing yeah let's see if there's any other uh, the rocket launcher there 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 two what's in here Oh, there's the Fall Guys booth. This is stupid. I mean, this game also looks kind of fun. I mean, it's, 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 you know, what is it? Ultimate Ninja Warrior type of thing?
Like, I, I, I'm actually kind of wanting to check this one out more than, um, most of the other ones. Outside, outside of the games that, like, I'm definitely going to pick up. Oh, shit, you get, like, a little Gordon Freeman thing. Yay! Oh, they, they they flounder everywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Found all collectibles from unannounced game two. Will it will it show me the unannounced game? Oh, this is the exit. Wait, hold on. Yay! Slide. Now from the to go and play the game that the 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 ah fuck. Now to go see the game that the people who made this demo made. And obviously the thing that I need to sit back and What? Okay, cool. There we go. I got up. I had to get up really close this time. Now this game looks pretty, and it's pretty obvious. Like they're taking certain inspirations from other games, which is nice. Like any kind of first-person shooter that um deals with um better movement options is good. Like, I love Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal is my favorite game this year. And anything that tries to get onto Doom Eternal's level would be pretty cool as well. And yeah, they are taking so much inspiration from like Doom Success. Stay frost. I still haven't played 2. I haven't played Shadow Warrior 2. I think I own it, I just don't remember what- if I own- Love of Power has been unlocked. I like how you have this elaborate one, but like technically- oh, there- there's the demos. Take the glove. Wait. Any other hit- any secret hidden things? Okay, it's just images from, like, concept art and stuff like that. Use the zip line. Oh! So there's only one more collectible that I missed. Let's at least collect the glove of power. Oh, it's just the gravity gun from, um, Half-Life 2. Oh no! A boss fight! I've been barely listening to this motherfucker. No. Oh. 
I'm just gonna collect chairs and throw them. I guess. This is a really dumb boss fight. Oh no. What? Why is it using a laser? I think I'm almost done. I've gotten three TVs off. This is really boring. Okay, I guess I gotta get out of here. I didn't get all three of the unannounced game things. Okay, it's like a weird, stupid, um... Yeah, you could tell, like, oh, they made this... This is not even... That was like a weird game thing. It's like, oh, here's a desktop, except that, like... Wait... Oh, that's it? I guess you have to go to the place to show. I, I barely paid attention to whatever that was. Uh... That was... Ugh. At least I'm able to do it, and do it within, like, the hour it takes. But... Or 30 minutes. That was bad. It runs bad on my PC. You gotta let me play... You gotta have at least a game that runs on a four-year-old PC. I... I haven't upgraded many... Like, I think my CPU and GP... Or my CPU and RAM stuff is from four years ago. So it's like... Not even the Ryzen's. It's like a fucking... FX... One. And if it runs this bad on the lowest settings, Jesus. You, you really rushed this out. That was nothing. I, 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 I need to re-watch my footage and look at what that was because I was paying more attention to the fake website than anything else. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to be streaming later tonight. I'm probably going to do both Curses and Moons. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll do that later. Good night. Or good day. I, I, I can go make food. Wait, hold on. I gotta exit this, and then actually I gotta stop. I have to stop the stream from over here now.